So we talked about how the process works, and now we're going to talk about how it relates in a real-world application. Um, in the ultrasonic cleaning process, the chemistry that you use is extremely important, uh, depending on the contaminant type. The concentration of that chemistry is important. The temperature of the solution is also extremely important. There's things that you can do at 160, 170, 180 degrees Fahrenheit with the same solution that you could never do at 120 degrees or 130 degrees. So it's critical that all those parameters are right. Um, this particular part that we're going to clean is a part of a cutting tool assembly. You actually see the inserts inside and it's uh, very contaminated with, with uh, heavy cutting fluid, chips, and so forth. Okay, so we're going to put this part in a basket and place it in the ultrasonic tank. You can see not much is going on, but I'm going to turn the ultrasonics on. And you can see it blasting away the oil, the grease, the chips, driving out the intricate areas between the actual insert and the body of, of, the, uh, of the cutter wheel itself. So about five minutes later, we pull the part out. It's detergent, so we want to rinse it off. Hit it with a quick blast of compressed air. And there you have it. So again, uh, ultrasonic cleaning and the proper chemistry, uh, concentration of the chemistry, temperature and time is a great way to clean parts very intricately and thoroughly.